what is going on collectors optical 20 back for another video preview today we are going to take a look at iron patriot the comic book version from hot toys and when it's available you can pre-order this i'm pretty sure only at sideshow because it's exclusive so but i barely go there only when there's a sale like right now there's a bunch of sale uh but this I don't know if this is something that's going to be sought after, maybe, because there's an exclusive tag on it, you know? Anytime that there's that exclusive, uh, people tr tend to gravitate towards it. It's a good-looking figure. Um, historically, Iron Patriot, I mean, at least from Hot Toys' perspective, wasn't selling well. You know, the first Iron Patriot sat from Iron Man 3, that sat for a hot minute. It, it even now i i don't think that the price really went up for that iron patriot it's just remained stagnant and one of those figures that is just readily available and people trying to discard it now right after that you have uh war machine i think iron patriot as well like from the end game i, I don't know I, I think what that's what you call that still iron patriot right um that didn't sell well either that's honestly along with uh rescue is one of the one of the ones that first tanked as far as you know end game figures and and whatever uh let's see onto his end game yeah i think i think that's called yeah it's called iron patriot the big guy um you know it's now on wait list, finally, but you can go to any side, Big Bad Toy Store. You'd see this guy, and it's, you know, it's just there. Uh, but this guy is a comic book version. Now, the comic book version is a hit or miss for Hot Toys. Uh, with Iron Man, they didn't really like the first comic book version because he does have the, the clear plastic thing. And then they went with the kind of like the better version um and that one sold out because again it has an exclusive tag on it so maybe this would too it does have that classic helmet look however i can't help but think about the marvel cinematic universe iron man with this it just does have that look it does have that feel it doesn't feel like a comic book version i don't know maybe because it's die cast i, I don't know it's just something about it uh interchangeable chest piece which is you know a pretty cool feature magnetic shield i've been asking for this for practical reasons for for captain america now because the only magnetic shield that cap really had was from um age of ultron and that is very convenient because anyone knows you know about the shield the straps keeps on breaking it's just fragile they shouldn't be using that strap to begin with you can put it there if you want you know for aesthetic purposes but it should be magnetic in my opinion uh just for again mainly practical reasons this looks good uh it, it kind of reminds me of mark 47 you know changeable uh, with the silver bits but this one's blue of course red white and blue it says here shield with magnetic function it looks like it's pretty easy to install you just kind of align you know the forearm to the wrist and it just snaps on sort of like age of ultron you know like i said before that should have been the case for every a uh captain america they were saying it's you know it's like accurate because you know we he, he got it magnetized i it, i don't know i don't care should be practical uh looks good you know aesthetic wise i lately iron man has been hit or miss like the um, the mark 7 suit up sold out um silver and centurion is still out there it's it's highly i would say it's it's very overpriced though uh mark 6 sold out right away mark 3 sold out so maybe this will sell out as well being an exclusive i'm sure it's kind of numbered uh but it doesn't pique my interest it's just yeah even if i can get this for retail and i'm an iron man fan i'm not gonna get this my last iron man was mark 6 i'm probably gonna go with mark 2 as well uh just to complete the seven uh, even at that, I'm kind of still, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm still undecided. Because after getting Mark VI, I thought I was going to be like super happy. Because I'm like one step closer or two figures away from completing, you know, the original seven. And it's a legacy Iron Man. 
But at the end of the day, I got it. You know, it's sitting here. I just I have too many Iron Mans. I mean, if you don't have an Iron Man yet, I mean, there's a lot of sale at Mark 85 right now. If you don't have any, I'm, I'm assuming you're just starting. You might want something that is, you know, has more meaning to it. Uh, this one, uh, it's a comic book version. It might be for comic book fans out there, uh, which is a nice compliment to if you also have any Iron Man figures. It's this, the colors are really striking. Uh, it looks good aesthetically. I don't know how much the price is going to be. I'm assuming this is going to be more than 320 at least at a minimum, I would say. You know, it doesn't have any head sculpt. Uh, so I'm guessing, this is just a guess, at a minimum, this would be 320 or 330 Best bet, 350 But again, it reminds me of Mark 47. I don't know. Maybe let me know in the comments. I, I'm not seeing the pattern so much here. But just, I guess, the, the separation from the, the torso, from the upper chest into his waist just kind of reminds me of that, for real. Uh, uh, let's look at the descriptions out here. Yeah, not so much. It just says it's comic book version. Um, and that's practically, a, a, you know, interchangeable chest plate, which is cool. Uh, all those things are nice. Even the looks is nice. It says, after the invasion of Skrulls, Norman Osborn emerges the new world hero. Uh, therefore, created Iron Patriot, a suit that combines elements of Iron Man technology with colors of American flag. Uh, inspired by Iron Patriot, LED function, sleek armor design, specifically designed with... Okay, the stand has its own LED light-up function. Uh, but I'm guessing this is not... Um, it didn't say anything about USB for the entire figure. I was hoping this would be the first one. That would be nice. Uh, but I guess not. But hey, either way, if you're into this, it looks cool. That's all I can say about that. Me personally, it'll be a no. You know, it's... I, I even want to get rid of my Iron Patriot. But I know the price is just crazy low right now that I might as well keep it. That's that's what I have in mind. I feel like I have too many Iron Mans. I have too many... Um, um, war machine they are cool to look at they're just not very practical once you you know reach a certain number but let me know in the comments down below how do you feel about this figure this design this look about the comic book version of this would love to hear your thoughts thank you for watching if you like this video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one